I'm Johnny. This is 180 Second Ideas, the fastest and easiest gun reviews on YouTube. A lot of ways to maintain and store firearms, a lot of ways to clean firearms. I don't go in one direction and say that way or method or system is the only product to use. I don't think like that at all. There's a lot of products that I've used over the years successfully and a lot of products that I do trust. But several of y'all have emailed in recently and said, Johnny, what do you use? I use Ballastol, no big surprise, but I've never talked to y'all about that. I want to hear your story. What do you use? You can leave that in the comment section. I would also love to hear your experience and thoughts on Ballastol. I know the official term is Ballistol. Most guys that I know call it Ballastol. I've changed over the years. I was raised on WD-40 and Hoppies Number 9. It was an unfortunate childhood. I used to use push rods and patches. Now I use boar snakes and Ballastol. Several things that I like about this, but I do want to say I'm not a commercial. I'm not paid by Ballastol. I purchased these myself. These are from right there on the shelf just off camera. This is what I use in my day-to-day -day cleaning here on the bench and what I use on the range. So I like Ballastol. Long period of time I've been using it both for long-term storage, short-term storage, as well as maintenance and day-to-day -day stuff right here on the bench. This is the product I use and I do trust it. I'm going to say this, it works and I recommend it. And I can't say that strongly enough. I do recommend it. I don't use the word recommend on this channel all that often. I recommend this to you couple things that I like. It's eco-friendly. It's safe for your skin. It's non-carcinogenic. And all those are important to me. It's also safe for surfaces. When I, right when I began, I always spray some out here on the bench and then I dip my hand into it or dip my finger into it and go from there or a Q-tip. But I do spray it right here on the surface. I like that. Now it does seem to stain my bench mats. It gets a little bit brown in there, brown spots. I think you can wash most bench mats. I never have, but it does seem, seem to stain fabric. I don't know that for sure in other fabrics, but that is my experience. A couple things to consider. One is the price. Big variance of price for me locally. The HVAC store has it at one price here, and the gun store here has it at a much higher price. I'll put a picture up here for you. This is from Ballastol's Amazon store. When I saw that picture, I thought it was a full-size can. It sure looks like a full-size can sitting there on that on that vehicle seat. What came in was this little 1.5 ounce, and it, it said that in the drop-down screen, 1.5 ounces, but this right now is $8.86. What a complete ripoff. A little bit high on that one. Better deal is the 6-ounce one. I'll put a link in the description over to their Amazon store. $12.25 right now for the 6-ounce. Next time I'm going to go with the spray bottle that's not aerosol. Here's why. The aerosol seems to have a lot of fumes, and so I use a fan always when I have Ballastol out. Now, it also smells really weird. A lot of folks really don't like the smell. So I do recommend using a fan. You may want to know going in it's going to have a really weird smell to it. The smell doesn't bother me. Some people like it. Some people really abhor it. I'm kind of in the middle. I don't like it. It's just kind of a weird smell, but I do use a fan all the time blowing with it. So I like it. A little bit expensive, but I do trust it. And I'm going to say this. It absolutely works. This is Ballastol. I'm Johnny, and I'm happy.